Hello everyone, Lytro Storm here, and today we're back into the saga of what if Kenny and Lily swapped places. In the last part, we left off with Lily's seeming betrayal toward the end of A New Frontier. But today we're going to dive in and really just see what this means for the grand scope of things and how things play out. So if you haven't already checked out the previous three parts, please feel free to do so using the link in the description and comment section. But for those of you who have, I'm sure you're waiting patiently to find out what happens, so let's go ahead and find out now. Lily stands next to Joan behind the prisoners, looking down in shame as she wasn't involved in the initial betrayal, but knew once the new frontier showed up that they had failed. So she decided it'd be best for everyone if she helped capture them and vouched later. Joan reveals to the group that Lily had helped capture these people once she saw that they were caught. So she tells a guard to give Lily a gun. Joan then offers Javier the choice on who to spare between Trip, Ava, and Jane, but wants Lily to be the one to shoot in order to regain trust. Whoever Javier chooses to live is the one Lily must kill. Otherwise, Joan will have her men kill everyone. If it's Trip, it's not all that significant for Lily, and she'd probably just say that she's sorry. If it's Ava, she might tear up a bit whilst apologizing. And if it's Jane, she'd tell her that she's not the monster she thinks she is, while also still tearing up and apologizing. By the end, the person you choose to save is killed by Lily under Joan's orders. Javier is furious that Joan betrayed his choice, but she reminds him that she just killed one person instead of two, so she did him a favor. Clint then starts having a breakdown, offering Javi to take David and their people and just leave. Javier can then either take the deal or shoot Joan. If you take the deal, David grabs Clint as a hostage, but he fights back, making David fire his gun accidentally. This then sparks everyone to make their move, which includes Lily, who guns down Joan right there. If Javi shot Joan, then Lily would just fire at a new frontier guy to help the two people Joan spared escape. If you saved Conrad, he'd return the favor by saving Javi from one of Joan's men. he then continued by pushing Javi out of the way of the truck, getting crushed himself, but only if Javi failed to dodge. Anyway, they head inside a building, meeting Eleanor. Fern freaks out, David breaks her arm, and then walks off to the roof. The same scene still takes place, but I'd like to focus on what happens before the next one. Before Kate, Gabe, and Clem go to the roof with Ava slash Trip. We don't get a playable Clementine scene this episode, but I think it's necessary here. Clementine sees Lily outside, battling walkers, and runs outside to either help her or belittle her. It depends on whether you blame Lily for everything that's happened, or whether or not you understand her actions. If she killed Jane, you see that Lily is actually helping Trip and Ava make it through by fighting off the walkers, and the two run inside with Kate and Gabe. Clementine then confronts Lily, who apologizes, knowing that what she did will never be seen as forgivable. She always chose the new frontier over Clementine, but she does reveal that she knows where AJ is. That's why she stayed, to make sure he survived. Clementine can demand to know where he is if Lingard didn't tell her or say that she already knew if he did. The other two options are to yell at Lily for an explanation why she didn't tell her or Jane, or to be understanding. Lily tells Clem about McCarroll Ranch if she didn't already know, and explains that she thought he'd be safer there at the time. Hell, he might still be safer there depending on how things end up with Richmond. Either way, Lily accepts Clem if she hates her, but she's going to keep going on, to prove to her that she isn't the monster Jane saw her as. Clementine can accept this or not, but either way, they both go inside. Now, if Lily killed Trip or Ava, we'd see her helping only one of them get through the walkers. The person then makes it inside with Kate and Gabe, leaving Lily alone with Clementine. But as Lily's walking toward her to start their conversation, Clementine sees Jane standing behind Lily with a gun aimed. Jane tells her to not take another step, and Lily turns around, raising her gun as well. Clem can try to get either of them to put their gun down, or just ask both of them to stop due to the walkers. Or she can stay silent, of course. Jane starts flipping out on Lily over everything, yelling that she's only looked out for herself all this time. She didn't care about Clementine when she stayed with these people. She chose them over her. Lily tells her that it's not true. She yells that this entire time, she's been thinking of everyone but herself. She did her best to keep the group together back then, and when it was just the three of them with AJ, she chose to help build a better place for them. Jane was the one who ran, and when she stayed, it was for AJ. She made sure he got someplace safe. Jane confronts Lily about knowing where AJ is, the same way Clem does in the other version, and Lily gives the same explanation, but with more passion. She's letting it all out in an explosion of frustration and regret at the way she's being seen. After doing so, Lily then lowers her tone and her gun, saying that if Jane wants to kill her, she should just do it. Jane hesitates due to this sudden statement, and Clem can either tell her to do it, not to, say that she wants to do it, or stay silent. No matter what, Jane eventually lowers her gun, even if Clementine wants to do it herself, saying for them to go. 
I do think the dialogue would vary slightly based on who Lily killed as well. If it's Trip, Jane would say that Lily murdered a good man who helped her and Clementine have a place to stay. If it's Ava, she'd say that she got her own friend killed. And then also, the statement of Jane running away from the New Frontier technically doesn't apply in the Wellington ending, so you could cut it out in that version, since neither Jane or Lily were part of Clem's group during that time. Anyway, they all enter the house and show up on the roof a little later than in canon. They start heading out of Richmond, only for Ava to get jumped by a walker and sent flying if you have her. If not, it'd be Trip, who's able to throw the walker off like in canon. So either Ava dies here, or she's already dead. The group continues on, finding a helicopter crossing that can only hold so many people. This leaves Jane slash Trip, or both with Lily left on the other side. With both, or all three of them, working together to fight off the walkers, as well as David and Clem firing shots, I do think they survived this. Well, kinda. If Jane is there, she'd immediately hit a walker in the knee, kill it, and start gutting. Lily and potentially Trip continue fighting until Lily decides to do the same. Or just do it in the first place if Lily killed Jane and she isn't there, probably with a reminder from Clem about that tactic. Sadly, Trip does still get overpowered if he's there, as he'd be willing to help the others do their thing first. So no matter what, Trip and Ava both meet their fate, with only Lily and Jane making it out. They sneak through the walkers, and the main group heads onward. From here, nothing really changes. They make it down to the garage after covering themselves in guts, David fights Javier, and then leaves with Gabe. Kate decides that she's going to go save Richmond, and it's Javi's choice whether he wants to help her do it, or go after Gabe and David. Now some of you may know that Clementine's decision is based on what you choose to do in the flashback. If you don't really care and you just want the story, you can skip ahead to the next chapter of the video. But if you're curious on what your Clementine would do in this hypothetical version of the game, then indulge me as I think it's interesting. Since your choice to join the New Frontier is actually optional this time, that means if you chose not to, you wouldn't have the flashbacks where Clem gets kicked out. This means you wouldn't be able to make the other choices which determine what Clementine does in the finale, but I have a solution. All we have to do is replace the choices of injecting AJ and saying goodbye or spitting at David. I decided that we'd look back at season 2 for this in order to make that somewhat important since season 2 really didn't have a wildly different endings like it did originally. It was still different, but not that much outside of the Wellington ending. Since refusing to join means you end up staying with Jane, I chose to look back at Sarah. This seems kind of disconnected, but remember that a big part of episode 4 in season 2 was the comparison between Jane leaving her sister to die and Clementine choosing to do the same to Sarah or going against that path with more hope. So I replaced the choice of injecting AJ or not with the choice of saving Sarah or leaving her. Then the option of saying goodbye to AJ or spitting in David's face are replaced by what happened with Lily's return earlier in the episode. Was Jane alive to confront her, or did Lily kill Jane? If Jane was alive, then that replaces Clem's option of saying goodbye, and if she's dead, then that replaces spitting in David's face. So here's what your Clementine would do based on your choices. It's on screen now. As you can see, the status of Jane and Sarah can only come into play when you reject the offer to join the New Frontier. But if you recall, going to Wellington means you find Lily in the New Frontier and join anyway, so your choice is mapped out for you already in that version. Anyway, now that you know what your Clementine would do, we can move forward with the finale. So most of the endings go the same. I think the main difference here would be Lily and Jane for obvious reasons. For instance, if two people are back in Richmond, then Kate survives even if Javi went after Gabe and David. So like if Clem and Javi both go after Gabe and Jane is alive, then her and Lily are able to save Kate. If Clem goes back, Kate also survives, since Lily is there too. So the only way to have Kate die is if Javi and Clem go after Gabe, and if Jane died. This means you're really likely to have Kate, Gabe, and David all survive in your ending. But by the end, Javier is in Richmond with whatever combination of people he managed to keep safe, whether it's Conrad, Jane, Lingard, Kate, Gabe, or David. He then either takes up the leadership role or just kind of chills out there. At the end, Clem and Lily plan on leaving in order to find AJ, and Clem would have a scene with Jane if she's there, where Jane decides she finally wants to settle down at Richmond. She started to see the good in people once more due to Javier, or at least she just wants to help build up something greater than herself. She's content, and besides, Lily and Clem have proven they don't need her help. She'll be waiting for Clem to return with AJ right here. The two then share a goodbye, with Lily exchanging a look of understanding with Jane, before she and Clem finally hit the road. And with that, we can finally end this part of What If Lily and Kenny Swapped Places. The next part will be the finale covering all the events of Season 4, which will be the final season. I really hope you guys have liked this interpretation of Lily so far, as I think her impact in Season 2, having met Walter, Sarita, Matthew, and then staying with Clementine and trying to build a better group and try to become a better person, really has impacted her in the way that all of her seeming betrayals in A New Frontier kind of fit her 
season 4 personality that we see in the game, but then we find out that her season 2 personality from this what if kind of impacts that and leads to it being not an actual betrayal, she does still care about the group. And I think that's way more interesting than just like, oh, she joins the New Frontier and she's a bad guy with Badger and all them. Like, I, that's obviously not fun. That's not interesting. We wouldn't be able to have that cool moment with the confrontation with Jane. As I think Jane is understandably upset at Lily for all she's done. But at the same time, Lily is kind of bearing the burden of literally everything to try and keep the group safe. So yeah, hopefully you guys like that kind of dynamic. I thought it was really cool. We don't really have Jane continue in too many what ifs. And then obviously this is like the only time Lily's ever in a new frontier. So I thought it was really interesting to have these sort of things play out and make it very interesting. Before I go, a huge shout out to our members for supporting the channel. Kyler Fiend, Wax and Parrot Fish, Ellie the Plug 2, Paul Keen, Fonk Locks, Hazy Brush, I Am Bored, Scintillating Susie, Roderick Hare, Raven, Marco DeCinco, and Crayman. If you want to also support the channel and become a member, then feel free to do so. It's only $2.99 a month and you get access to awesome perks like priority comment replies and exclusive community polls. But as always, tell me if you like this part, tell me what you think will happen next, comment your request for future videos, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.